Welcome to the class students. In this class, we are containing the vital statistics. That is next topic, reproductive rates. In reproductive rates, we have uh, two types. One is gross reproductive rate and another one is uh, net reproductive rate. Before we are solving uh, this gross reproductive rate and net reproductive rate, we have to calculate WSFR that is women specific fertility rates. Based on that, GRR and NRR can be calculated. Okay, let's solve some problems on this GRR and NRR. Okay, so first problem is on about uh, GRR. Calculate GRR for the following data. Calculate GRR for the following data. To calculate this GRR, this is the problem that is age group in years. Fifteen to nineteen, twenty to twenty-four, twenty-five to twenty-nine, thirty to thirty-four, thirty-five to thirty-nine, forty to forty-four, forty-five to forty-nine, and again our female population thousand nine hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred. 500 and 400 next female birds not live birds it is a female birds while calculating GRR and NRR female birth is very very important okay female birth is very very important this is the problem they have given this is the difference between ASFR and GRR and NRR in ASFR, we will consider only the live births along with the female population. But for GRR, it is female births. How many uh, girls or females are born for a particular female population that we are calculating. Okay. So, to calculate this GRR, so GRR is equal to I into summation of WSFR. WSFR is nothing but women specific fertility rate WSFR is women specific fertility rate first we have to calculate WSFR the calculation of WSFR is same as calculation of ASFR for particular age group let me write the formula to find WSFR WSFR is female birth divided by female population into 1000 female birth divided by female population into 1000 so female birth female population into 1000 so that you will get WSFR so WSFR calculation I am going to show you for this particular age group 15 to 19 it is 20 divided by 1000 into 1000 so the value is 20 okay so similar way as we calculated ASFR for all the age group in the same method we are calculating WSFR for all the age groups. So one I have shown the calculation uh, rest of the way WSFR values I am going to write here. So this is 66.7, 62.5, 42.9, 38.5. So to calculate this WSFR, we have to take the summation of this WSFR. So summation of WSFR. So this is uh, total is 270.4. 270.4. So substitute that. Here I is nothing but the, the width of the class interval. This class interval that is 5. So 5 into 270.4 so our GRR is equal to 1352 female birth per thousand women of childbearing age so uh, let's find out GRR per woman for per woman for one woman it is 1352 divided by thousand so this is 1.352 female births female for for per, per woman, per woman, it is 1.352 female births or approximately it can be 1 
um, uh, uh, because uh, we cannot, uh, we have to round off this, so it can be approximately it is a uh, 1, since this rate is greater than when the population is increasing. So based while seeing this uh, population or a GRR per woman, we can say that uh, this value, this 1 point, this is 1.352 females per females birth so that we can say that the population is increasing because this 1.352 is greater than 1. This 1.352 is greater than 1 so that population is we can say that population is increasing. So we can write the conclusion like this. Okay. Let's solve uh, another problem that is NRR. Okay. How to calculate the NRR? Again for NRR, the values are female population, female birth, everything will be same. Along with that, we have another column that is survival rate. Survival rate. So the age group will be same. And here also we will consider female population. It is 3000, 2500, 2200, 2000, 1800. 1500, 1200, 50, survival rates, survival rates are very very important, okay. For, to calculate this NRR, this calculate this NRR, uh, this NRR is equal to summation of WSFR, I into, yes, I into summation of WSFR into S. S is nothing but survival rate, this S is survival rate. So, we have to find, first we have to find WSFR, then we should multiply the WSFR values with the survival rate so that you will get WSFR into S. So we have to make two columns. One is WSFR, another one is WSFR into S. Okay. Already we know that how to find WSFR and the formula is to find WSFR is for female population, sorry, female birth divided by female population into 1000. So, I am calculating one value that is 50 divided by 3000 into 1000 and the value is 16.66. 16.66. Similar way, we can find all the values. So, I am writing the values one by one after the calculations. And these are survival rates that is yes. You should take the product of WSFR into S. So multiply these two columns so that you will get WSFR into S. So the values are like this 14.99, and this summation value is. 356.56 356.56 substitute that your i is nothing but 5 into 356.56 this summation of wsfr into s is 356.56 so nrr is 1782.8 females female birth per thousand women of childbearing age and here also we want to find NRR per woman. So to find NRR per woman, it is NRR divided by 1000. This is 1782.8 divided by 1000. It is 1.782 per, sorry, 1.782 female, female births. 
so again here also the value is uh, nrr per woman value that is 1.782 is greater than 1 so that the population is increasing so that population is increasing if it is greater than 1 the population will be increasing if it is less than 1 it, the population is decreasing okay this is the this is, uh, uh, this is all about our uh, nrr and grr in examination they will ask this problem together to calculate both this uh, nrr and grr they they will ask this problem for 10 marks for 10 marks they will ask this uh, nrr and grr together so that uh, you can calculate the values like this so this is the procedure to find grr and nrr next class we will we are, will discuss another topic on this uh, in power vital statistics okay thank you